This video is part of a series of short videos on asthma and how it is treated. They are listed here in a logical order that you might choose to watch them in. If you want, click on an icon to leave this video and watch another one earlier in the sequence. You can easily come back to this one later. Sometimes your doctor will give you a preventer puffer that contains only a steroid. It is quite important that you should understand this because that puffer will work very differently than your reliever puffer. When you use your steroid puffer, the steroid drug is sent down into your airways. When it gets into the airway, it does not immediately relax your smooth muscle and open up the airway like your reliever puffer does. That is why this is not a puffer that you should use to give you immediate relief when you're feeling short of breath. What the steroid puffer does do is gradually clear some of the inflammatory cells from the lining of your airways. If you are just starting your treatment with your steroid puffer, it might take up to two weeks for it to work as well as it can and clear the inflammation. When the inflammation has cleared, then there should be less chemicals around to make your smooth muscles contract, and your airways should be wide open more of the time. What most people notice is that when they have taken their steroid puffer for a few weeks, they don't have to use as much of their reliever puffer. Something that happens very often with steroid puffers is that they work so well that people think their asthma has got better. When that happens, a lot of sensible people stop taking their puffers. The trouble with that is that the asthma is still there, and when you stop taking the puffer, the inflammation comes back the airway starts to get narrow again, and then you need to use more of your reliever puffer. So, one of the tricks to managing your asthma is to remember to keep taking your steroid puffer even when you feel like you don't need to. Steroid puffers have been around for treating asthma for nearly 50 years, but there are many countries where it took several decades before doctors were comfortable prescribing them and patients were comfortable taking them. The reason for this is probably because of some of the misconceptions about what steroid puffers might do to you. We will list some of the things that people tend to worry about with their steroid puffers. Steroid puffers will not make your muscles bigger like a bodybuilder. The steroids that do that are completely different drugs called anabolic steroids. The worry about weight gain, effects on growing, and weakening of bones are real concerns for patients who take the anti-inflammatory drug prednisone, but patients who take steroid puffers really don't need to worry about these effects. There are many drugs that don't work as well if you take them too often or for a long period of time, like your reliever puffer. Steroid puffers are not like this they will keep working just as well no matter how long you take them for. There are some side effects that a few patients may notice when they take steroid puffers. Sometimes you might notice a slight deepening of your voice. This is not harmful and you might even enjoy it. When you use a steroid puffer, it is easier to get a yeast-like infection at the back of your throat or on your tongue. This can be prevented by rinsing your mouth with water when you use your puffer. Even if it occurs, it is harmless and can be treated with an antifungal pill from your doctor. So, the things that you need to remember about your steroid puffer are that it is medicine to clear inflammation and prevent airway narrowing. Because this may take days to work as well as it can, it is not a reliever puffer and it will not help you at all if you take it for relief when you're short of breath. The most important thing for you to remember about your steroid puffer is to keep taking it the way your doctor has told you to. There are very minor side effects, and if you stop taking it, your asthma symptoms will come back. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you would like to watch another in the series, click on that icon here. If not, thank you for watching.